Now, food prices leapt 4.3 percent in May. That's rising at their fastest pace in a decade. Farmers, firms, and retailers are now passing on those rising energy costs and soaring import bills to shoppers. Supply chain inflation is now happening in earnest, which is why this cost of living squeeze will get worse, I'm afraid, before it gets better. The Office for National Statistics says price rises are a major reason why the overall rate of inflation, the Consumer Price Index, the CPI, is rising at a 40-year high of 9% a year. Farmers are facing fertiliser costs four times up on last year and much higher animal feedstock costs too, not least as Russia and Ukraine are key fertiliser and wheat exporters. Russia and Ukraine in particular are often dubbed the breadbasket of Europe. These huge countries grow tens of millions of tonnes of cheap food each year. But war in Ukraine and economic conflict between Russia and the West is causing not only oil and gas prices to spiral, but food prices too. Official figures show that in April the price of pasta, made from wheat of course, was up 50% on the same month last year. And how about bread? What could be more basic? That's now 16% more expensive than a year ago. Minced beef, if you like a nice spag bowl, or maybe something else, is also up 16%. And rice, that's 15% more expensive in April than in April 2021. Not everything's become more expensive. Potatoes, cheese and apples, they've fallen in price little since last April. And in fairness, ministers have just extended help to millions of the most hard-pressed households as this cost-of-living squeeze gets worse. As consumer spending power falls, though, the UK high street is feeling the strain. Marks & Spencers, one of our thoroughbred brands, is slashing its UK operation from 254 full-line stores selling both food and clothes to just 180 across the country, more of which will move away from town centres. Closures will happen over the next three years, says M&S, as urban locations have, in their words, lost impetus. This squeeze in living standards is changing Britain. Not only are millions of households cutting back, adopting more basic lifestyles, but the impact of the pandemic and rising inflation is changing our town centres too. And that's our On The Money question today. Will this cost of living squeeze kill the UK high street? <laughs> 